Welcome back to another video guys. In this one we'll be comparing the pulse oximeter to the Xiaomi Watch S1 Active to see how close this is to the actual meter. Right, we'll get straight into the measurements. Put this on. What I don't like about the, these original straps is that they do become loose work their way off well not loose but the little bands here do work their way loose because I don't know if you can see but that's supposed to clip into one of the grooves I mean, it goes in now but after a while it comes off and moves okay let's see Make sure it's on tight to measure. Let's do this one here. Says 98, if you see there, this is 98 on a meter here as well. All right, let's do another one. Yep, still says 98. Well, I know it's on this though, it doesn't tell you the heart rate, so you have to check that separately. Right, so that says 89. That's an 87. So I mean, it's a bit, a bit off. It's, it's uh, notification came up. 87, 87. So it looks a bit close. Looks accurate. The thing I like about this one here, it's continuously checking. On something like the Galaxy Watch 4, it just checks it once, and you gotta check it again. This one is continuously checking, as you can see. As you can see, continuously checking. That's pretty good. That's where blood oxygen is pretty accurate. It does take a bit long, but um, gets the job done. I mean, it's not as fast as the Mazefit GTR 3 Pro that I have. I think that's the quickest one to check the blood oxygen, quicker than the Galaxy Watch 4. But yeah, it's pretty accurate. Let's check one more time. The blood oxygen. Yeah, going to 97, 98, still pretty close. But yeah, as for checking blood oxygen, heart rate, as you can see, yeah, works fine. That was a quick video comparing the pulse oximeter to the Xiaomi Watch S1 Active. As you can see, it's pretty close, pretty accurate. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.